protection of the Lord continually be strong over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Samuel Wan and you are welcome to Understanding the Times. some time now on the COVID-19 conspiracy theories, all kinds of theories that surround these conspiracies, all kinds of theories, all kinds of insinuations, all kinds of uh, 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 fears that people have that have surrounded the COVID-19. And uh, well, as I told you in the previous podcast, they call it conspiracy theories. I call it concerns. I call it worries. I call it anxieties. I call it the clarities on ground. I call it too many coincidences. And people have a right to be worried about all these coincidences. They have a right to be worried about all these things. And we are trying to look at all these coincidences, all these worries, all these so-called conspiracy theories, and trying to make sense of it. Because you see, as believers, we're not supposed to be, to, be, to be victim of conspiracy theories. The scriptures specifically want us, he said we should, we should test every spirit, we should find out the truth and hold that which is the right one. And we have that nature of God to always know the truth. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So we are not supposed to be a people that just run away with theories and ideas that somebody just cook up. Everything we find, we hear, we should find out. I want to encourage you, therefore, those of you that are listening to me, don't join those who just hear news on social media and they forward it without checking it. Don't join those who are just, who are just spreading all kinds of news, both from local to international news, without getting to know exactly what happened. Don't be part of those who just forward the message that you are not very sure of. We are in the world of information. There is nothing somebody tells you today that you cannot go and Google or find out by yourself whether it's the truth or not. Don't forget the attitude of the Berean Christians. Those who are the original Christians. The Bible, the beginning of Christianity, they said they will always find out even what Apostle Paul tell them. They will find out whether it is truth or not. And in one of the broadcasts, I told you that we need the Berean attitude for a time like this. The attitude that always wants to find out exactly the truth. So you and I must not be carried away by just, uh, uh, just any news. We must not be carried away by any fancy information. We must be sure of what is happening. So in this series, I'm trying to share with you the things I have heard, I have read, just like you too. All the news and information all over the place about all this issue. And we are trying to make sense with it from what the Bible says so that we can be on the safe side. Uh, these things have become so common as I've shared in the past. TV personalities, you know, government officials have said about it, even religious leaders. Some pastors have talked about 
what sometimes is even confusing. And I've had a lot of people call me and say, this man said, this person said this, which one is the truth? And this is not too good. The church of God, pastors must research very well. Those of us that have position when we talk, people listen, must be sure of what we are saying. If you don't know what to say, please keep short at this time. Don't say anything. It's not everybody that should go on social media and go on Facebook. And everybody's just talking what they like. If you are not sure of what is happening, it's better you keep quiet and then be listening and hearing from others. It is important not to join voice with what you are not sure about. We're in a time when people are careful. People are being threatened. The pandemic is spreading. All right? Many people are afraid. And because of all this, we cannot join forces with it and then be getting out information that are confusing. The first thing that people started to say, number one, concerning all these issues I'm sharing with you, because I tell to them COVID-19, the conspiracy theories, genuine worries, and the wickedness of our days. COVID-19, conspiracy theories, genuine worries, and the wickedness of our day. The first thing that people said is about the 5G. They said it is going to wipe out the whole world. I've talked about that extensively, and I said that the 5G is real. The 5G has come to stay. After 5G, there will be more Gs. And the truth is that it will have its own side effect. Every technological advancement will have its own side effect, but we will use it. And 5G is not what will wipe out the whole world. Number two, we said, people have also, have also said this, that 5G is the cause of coronavirus. And we look at it extensively from the two sides of those who said yes and those who say no. And I concluded on this broadcast that yes, 5G is different from coronavirus. 5G is a technological and scientific issue Coronavirus is a medical issue. Whether it is bioengineered or natural, it is still a biological issue. It's not, it is not a technical matter. It's not a scientific in terms of technology. And so it is not the same. It is quite different. Where it, 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 it happened almost at the same time. And so one can be enhancing the other. But to say one is the original cause of the other, or one is the one that promoted the other, is not a very logical and reasonable thing to conclude. It is very clear, there is no doubt about it, that these evils are working together. And, well, we will expect more of such evils. I'm not a prophet of doom. Times are coming when five evils will be happening at the same time. Six evils will be happening at the same time. Seven evils will be happening at the same time. The Bible says, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. And so don't let us mix them together. They are evils. Yes, I agree. And evils because they are from the same person. Some things could happen, but we must not mix them together. 5G is a technical advancement that has its own problem. Coronavirus is a pandemic, a virus that eats the whole world. Number three, the third uh, conspiracy theory or allegation of fear is about Bill Gates. People say Bill Gates is behind it all. In fact, some say Bill Gates is the Antichrist. And I also share from the two perspectives. I looked at the side A and side B, and I completed the fact that, well, I cannot say Bill Gates is Antichrist. Uh, there is no clear basis for that. Uh, but it is very clear that uh, if the Antichrist will take over the world today, he will need the richest of the richest. There are five things the Antichrist will concentrate upon. Any man that wants to control the world today in the new world order are facing five areas of life. Number one, the richest of the richest. I mean, the richest of the richest, if you pick the richest men in the world and they all believe in the same ideology and they want to do one thing, they will achieve it. It is just impossible to stop them except God. Like Genesis chapter 11, when men decided to build the Tower of Babel. So if, if, if from that perspective you look at some of these men questionable, oh yes. Number two, when you get not only the rich men, when you get the media. The media is very powerful today. Anybody that controls the media will control the people's thinking and psyche. Right, number two. Number three is technology. If you can control science and technology, then you can control almost everything. You can, you can control humanity. You can control the way people think. You can control how things go. And that is why those who are part of the world order, these are the things they are aiming at at control. They want to control, they want to control the finances. They want to control technology, all right? They want to control the media because they know that anyone that has a control of all these things will actually control the world. So these are some of the areas where the issue of Big Gate coming. Number four, some said the virus escaped from a Chinese lab. And the Chinese scientists have tried to say it is not so. Well, we all know it started in Wuhan. 
So those who say it's escape from the Chinese lab have their point because it all started in Wuhan. Uh, but the researchers have come out to say it is not so. Uh, a prominent virologist who spent all her years at the Wuhan uh, center where the whole uh, is the epicenter of the whole issue, uh, a scientist called Shi Zengli, have come out and said, well, it didn't break out from their lab. It actually uh, a coincidence, according to her, that the China lead institute that are studying the bat coronavirus uh, are in the same city with the origin of the coronavirus <laughs> outbreak. That's funny because how can the outbreak start in the city and the research is going on in the same city studying the virus? And it is in that same city that uh, the, the epidemic sprung up. Well, they said it is not so, but uh, we are not fools and we are not babies. And everybody has a right to decide what he wants. Uh, but the truth is, it, it seems so. Number five. The other one is that if we take coronavirus vaccines, then it equals to taking the mark of the beast. That was another conspiracy theory, as they used to call it. But I call it concern, I call it, I call it worries, I call it allegations, and I call it coincidences uh, that uh, if you take vaccines, then uh, it means we are taking the mark of the beast. And we look at what vaccine actually is in the last podcast. If you, if you, if you were not there, if you were not online, please uh, check back on any of my social media platforms on Omarata Radio International. And you can you can listen again to this uh, broadcast. We talk about vaccine. We talk about the effect of vaccine. We talk about sicknesses that vaccine have been able to conquer in our world. And then we talk about the fact that vaccine is the only solution to the coronavirus. Because as of now, there is still no there is no healing yet. There is no medicine yet. And about 18 centers are building you know a vaccine as I'm talking to you for the coronavirus epidemic. So vaccine is still the only solution. Uh, as it has happened to many other diseases in the past. There are many things humanity is still fighting today that were being conquered and you know, checkered by the vaccination. Uh, but, sincerely, the truth is, if this thing will come to an end one day, like polio and all, it will have to be vaccine. And so, if you are saying Big Gate is, is, I mean, vaccine, uh, because they are saying that people have put a uh, microchip inside vaccine and all this. The reason why those things came out is because, you know, Big Gate is actually one of the major proponents of the ID2020. A system where, a proponent of the 5G2, a system where the whole world is captured uh, in a very simple database. And that everybody has a, a database to be referred to. Uh, we all know that the Bible prophesied that the Antichrist will come and that without taking the mark of the beast, you will not be to buy or sell. And if you look around today, Big Gates made a statement that complicated it. He said the time is coming, the way things are going, that uh, people will be giving vaccination certificates if they have taken it or not. And he came out to say, and his people said that's not what he meant. He's not talking about microchip, that is, there's nothing like microchip. And uh, it is true, it seems so, but the truth is, microchip technology is in the world today. People are already using it. They may not use it for the vaccine, I agree, but it is real. It may not work for the vaccine, but it's a, it's a technology that will still become a reality. People don't want to... I've, I've had about three companies already now whose, whose employees voluntarily release themselves to, be, to take chips, some at the, at the tips of their of their finger instead of using key or using anything. So the truth of the matter is this technology is here with us and these are the technologies that the Antichrist will use definitely when it takes over. But it, it, is, not, it is not yet fully in operation. I told you in one of the broadcasts that a time is coming when a man who is desperate to rule the world can sit in a computer room, so to say, like I sit in this studio and control the whole world. That is when the world has been networked together. That's not just going to be 5G, that may be 6G or 7G. That is when there is nowhere you can hide. There is nowhere, there is nothing like, there is no, there is no uh, coverage. There is nothing like, no, no, no. Everybody have been, everybody have been, everybody have, we have the, the database of everybody. And when that time comes, and we are moving towards that time, that is when the ground is really ready for the Antichrist. Number six, the sixth conspiracy about all these issues is that covid 19 was created as a biological weapon. People are saying that the idea was an intentional creation of the Chinese scientists and Chinese government as a power warfare uh, weapon. Uh, I read some research on some, some organizations that were so emphatic about their findings about this. Now, I cannot doubt that uh, since they said they did their research. 
the theories, this particular theory, became emphasized when a particular U.S. Senator, Tom Cotton, specifically of the Republican Party of Arkansas, who, who was the one that actually said a lot of things about this issue, uh, and they amplified the theories about Wuhan. Especially the fact that the Wuhan Institute of Virology, they have discovered is linked with Beijing's convert bioweapon program. So, how can an Institute of Virology have something to do with a bioweapon uh, organization? So, that looks too similar. What, what are they doing together? They may claim it is not so, but you know, I've told you this. This is a word you can't trust anybody again. I'm telling you. We can't trust politicians. We can't, we can't trust anything. We can't trust social media. We can only trust God. So, if it is true, it's possible. Uh, but they are denying it is not so. But these things are just for all of us to get ourselves ready. China scientists are saying SARS-CoV-2 virus has an entirely natural origin. They say it's not man-made. They say it is entirely natural origin as a zoonotic, uh, zoonotic virus that originated in bats. That's what they are saying. That's just pure. It's, that's nothing to biological. But so many things are going around to show that uh, there may be, there may be, I don't want to say clearly because I am not also sure. I don't have fact. And as I told you, I don't want to say something that one is not very sure of. This is a lot of controversies. But when these things are happening, where you just take a good stand, tell yourself it could be, it may not be, and prepare yourself properly for what you are supposed to do, that is what I call balance. Number seven. The seventh issue that is happening about this issue, I'm sure you have heard about it. Uh, they said uh, it is, was the U.S. military that imported COVID-19 into China. And I laugh. Don't forget that U.S. accused China, and then now China is accusing the United States. The Chinese foreign ministry spokesman, Zhao Lingjian, uh, on his tweet, really made this to be very, very conspicuous a few weeks ago. When he said, and I he said very clearly that it is possible that the U.S. brought the virus to Wuhan. And that was what really brought this whole idea. He rumored the conspiracy very clearly that it was when the U.S. military personnel came to Wuhan last year, November, when they participated in the 2019 military world games in October last year, pardon me, that was when they brought the, <laughs> they brought the thing into China. The truth is, China, U.S., they are two countries that we must watch out. Uh, the Lord gave us a prophecy last year, and it's happening. If you want to get the details of some of the prophecies God gave us, please go to our website, www.maranataministriesinternational.org. www.maranataministriesinternational.org. You see all the prophecies for the year. It's so clear. One of the things God told us is that the world is going to be divided between U.S. and China as the time goes on, even economically. We are going to have nations who will support China. And if you look at what is happening right now, many nations who are actually alliance of China have started changing their mind. Where we are not sure whether it's just an emergency situation because of what is happening. But unluckily, U.S. too is, is hit now. They are, U.S. is very particular about its own self and its own country. Especially with Donald Trump, it's America first. U.S. is not really too, too impressed and too concerned about world uh, control. They are more concerned about, and that was give China an edge. China saw that U.S. was withdrawing a little bit from trying to be the so-called world police, and China wants to take that space. And uh, these things are very clear prophetically. As we go on in this series, I'm going to share the prophetic destiny of the nations of the world with you as revealed in the Bible. So, concerning that, the military imported COVID into China, it is so, it is not so, it is possible it may not be so, but it looks so, it looks so, it looks so, but uh, America is saying this is never so. This was something that originated in China, it was China's fault, it's not America's fault. Okay, number eight. The eighth thing that now came out of that is that the coronavirus, coronavirus research brought the COVID-19, uh, that brought the COVID-19, all started in the United States of America, in a library, they, I mean, in a laboratory in the U.S., that it was later transferred to China. This is some of the, you see, there's this man called uh, Dr. Far, Far, is it Farouk or Far now? The major man in charge of U.S. Uh, health issue on this issue. This guy, if you have been watching news, he's the one who's always talking about what is happening, he's always standing beside Donald Trump. 
He has been in government for years. He has been there before Obama. He was there with Obama. This is a strong man. This man knows a lot of things about what is happening in the health system and many things. And some people have brought out this issue that this issue of coronavirus research actually started in America. That it was some scientists who were trying to develop this as a bio weapon in America. And it was when some people said you can't use our, it was discovered, and you cannot use our so much money of tax money to start building. Because it, I don't even know what they are doing, trying to, trying to re-engineer a virus, a natural virus in an animal. I mean, what do you want to do with a weapon? Because you see, trying to research a virus that is dangerous, and then they are trying to play with it. Then you start wondering that sincerely there is this issue of biological weapon behind it. And when the research was stopped in America, and they transferred it to Wuhan, and America gave a large amount of money, I think about $300 million, I, I, please don't quote me, I'm not too sure now, I think it's about $300 million, and Donald Trump, I had that one myself, Donald Trump said they are going to research into it, that who gave that money to Wuhan? So do you see the conspiracy happening right now? America has been saying it's not their fault. Now, it is getting clear that uh, there is one hand of America involved in this. It may not be Donald Trump administration. It could be the past administration. But surely some people in America are also are guilty about this whole issue. It's a whole lot of conspiracy. It's a mess. You see, there are people that are just playing with the world like a chess game. They are playing with us like a ludo. They are playing with us like a football game. They are just playing around. They are playing around with health, playing around with dangerous things, playing around with people's destiny, playing around with finances. So many things are even happening right now about world economy. You will see a lot of hands playing around. It's a, it's a pity. It's a pity. It's a pity. It shows the wickedness of man and the evil of the generation that we are living with. So that is conspiracy theory number eight or allegation number eight that coronavirus research actually started in the U.S. and that one is a fact. And then they transfer it to Wuhan. It was concluded in Wuhan and it was the conclusion that brought the pandemic. And who, who, who is now to blame? Is it U.S. or China? And who in U.S. Are the people behind this and what is their intention if the present president is not aware of it then who are the people behind it what do they want to achieve of it what is the meaning of doing a research on coronavirus and at the end of the day it is to bring out calamity or causes or pandemic upon the world what do they want to bring out of it these are questions begging for answer number nine there are there are those who are now saying, maybe I'll say this and I'll stop because I still have about five more days to say, but let me just say number nine and stop there because I've reviewed all now. There are those who are saying that uh, GMOs are to be blamed. GMOs are genetically uh, modified plants, or uh, organisms, uh, that crops, that they are to be blamed. Those who are involved in genetic modification, they are the ones that caused all these issues, uh, that causes the pandemic. And, uh, well, these things, uh, because you see, when people play with God, because GMO is actually a way of playing with genetics, you know, you are playing with what God has already created, and you are trying to bring something out of it, and when human beings are playing with God, evil comes out of it. A case that came to mind is Genesis chapter 11. When man started to play with God, Genesis 11, they said, we want to be like God, we build, we will build a tower to heaven. You knew something came out of it. So, Whatever all this we call theories, when we look at it from the scriptures, anytime we are, yes, we are saying that when we modify a crop, we make it better. Who told you that the crop in the Garden of Eden need modification? Who told us that the one created by God is not good enough? What are we modifying in orange? What are we modifying in banana? Why are we causing problem for ourselves? It is when man decides to be a God, then we have problem. And so all these things are linked together, whether we like it or not. Some call it theories, I call it facts and figures. I call it realities and concerns and worries about people. I think I will stop here. I will continue in the next broadcast. I want to appreciate all of you. Thank you all that joined me today online. I will appreciate if you can, you know, share this video so that others will be able to join us. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't inform many of us when I was coming online. I'll be doing that more regularly. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord strengthen you in Jesus' name. Please keep safe. 
keep saved. COVID-19 is real. People are doubting it. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. People are saying all kinds of things in the next broadcast. I know I just share nine things with you. I'm going to have about 15 issues. The controversies, the conspiracies going around the place. And we want to make sense with it and take a proper stand. Like the men of Issachar. They had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do. It is well with you. The Lord keep you and your family. The Lord protect you from all the evils and harm that is going on. No matter what is happening today, no evil shall be for you. No danger shall come upon you. You are coming out of COVID-19 without losing anything. In Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Samuel Wan. I will see you in the next broadcast. God bless you. Shalom.